Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing. I'm Richard, and we've got the first set for a special series clan selection for the Climax 2 V series coming to an end. So uh, it was nice enough to get this box from uh, my good friend Justin. Um, so as per usual, I will go into uh, today's sponsor for these unboxing, which is Triple Sleeve TCG. If you haven't heard of Triple Sleeve TCG, it is an online website where you can go and purchase bundles, play sets. Getting to the D series is going to be nation splits. So as of right now, they do have their prices for play sets of base rarity cards for whichever nation you want to play for the first D series set coming this year. So thanks again to Triple Sleeve TCG and you guys should definitely check them out if you guys want to get your play sets right at the start of the new standard set. So without further ado, so let's crack this box open. So I'm see if I can like barehand it today. If not, I'm like eyeballing a pair of scissors right now. Looks like that's what I'm gonna have to do. Oh. Here we go. Feel that bad boy open. All right. So let's see what actually comes in this thing. And then cards. So we got our Vanguard Zero promotion. On the back, uh, I have no idea what this is, but cool. That's, that's it. Oh, there's a little more in there. We got the If series and more Bang Dream stuff. So it's a little pamphlet in there. No dice. Aw, oh, Bushy, you're done with the die? Oh, oh well. Guess we're done with our little free die that comes in our box, but it's okay. It's fun while it lasted. So this set is actually really cool because everything in here is basically a triple R. So it's just, just every single card is shiny. So that's gonna be fun. All right, right off the bat, uh, Shadow Paladins. So you got witches. Um, Mutant Intrude. Oh, cool. Uh, the cover art. Yay! Cover art for Emblue blue card. Um, when play is called go. Oh, it's the ghosty thing, right? All of your units of ghosties get intercept. When your rearguards are tired, call it ghosty. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, reprint. Uh, Dead Armor Dragon. I feel like Miles needed this card, so I'll probably just give him this one. When your unit attacks, retire this card. Uh, if your opponent will call cards, the girl's one that's called two or more. I feel like that was really good with Gus Blaster. Rising Phoenix reprint, but foiled. Ooh. Rising Phoenix was a double R thing, so I might hand this off to Jose. Neon Actor, so it's bad. Uh, triple R Gus Jin. Yep, and that was the pack. That's a, This is actually pretty cool, because I feel like every card in this thing is just good. Uh, Femi's back. Uh, what does it do? Your opponent chooses two grade zero units from the drop zone, calls them to rear. Uh, with grade one, greater units on them, yeah. If no cards are called, this gets drive plus one. That's a van only skill. That kind of sucks. Um, considering Femme was a regard skill before. Murakumo, uh, grade two. Oh yeah, all the Shiryuki stuff. Um, Shiryuki, card, vanguard, blah blah blah. If you call the card at the end, return that regard called in your hand. New soul has one or less soul charge. Oh, cool. Uh, at the end, if you turn, if you have Vanguard's here, you put in your soul, knowing it from your rear to your hand. Honestly, this Shiro Yuki stuff is pretty decent. Alright, this thing that likes to appear rides when you damage check, right? Yeah, I think I remember that one. Dindrain. Uh, Omega Lock. <laughs> uh, so opponent can't uh, unflip anything during end phase. An Emblem Master reprint. And No Seal Triple R reprint. So cool. It's gonna be a pain to organize all these by clan later. Uh, Vortimer. So, special two uh, search, so search for Duke or Grade 2 Vortimer, and when it's retired, put in soul, give something 5k. Ironheart Assassin. I don't I think this is new, it might be a reprint. I don't know much about DIs. Uh, soul Charge 1, if you Soul Charge, Iron Assassin in your soul. Okay. The Blood! Cover Art Card! Yay! This one's fun. It's the one where like you soul blast uh, 
Kaiser and you get a drive check and at the end of this you deal one damage um, but like if you have multiple like Kaisers like just from rewriting rewriting and you save the skill you can just do the act just like soul blast three Kaisers and give yourself some three additional drives like if you're already at five damage you're like I'm gonna lose next turn anyways let's just get seven drive checks you know but if you're running front triggers holy hell uh, in the first skill, once per turn, put a card from your hand in the soul, gets 5k in a drive, and uh, it battles the whole front row. And if you have Vermilion, was put in the soul for the cost, it gets 10k in a crit. So, you don't really need to worry about crits because you got fronts. Um, I think this is a reprint. Oh, cool. Jakotsu Girl as a triple R. That's nice. Uh, Skull Dragon, triple R. Gold, triple R. Yep. Um, I think this is a reprint too. Uh, Deck Souls for a guard is a grade three. Da, 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 da. Choose my opponent's regards. Can I intercept? Planning use. Oh, okay. Neo Nectar, so it's bad. Uh, I don't know if this is a new or reprint. I keep forgetting. I think this is a reprint. But it's Mega Colony, so it's probably not prominent. Uh, Hoel reprint. Thunderfoot reprint. When it attacks Vanguard, choose one of your opponent's grade two, binding face down. If you chose grade two or greater soul charge, I think that is helpful. Maybe Neo Nectar, so it's bad. Man, call new PG. Cool. Er. Um, is this new? I feel like it's new. Soul Bless one draw a card, discard card in your hand, and put up the one Mikaluth Mikaluth. And it's named from your drop to the top of your deck. Oh, so that's how you get the spear right off. Yeah, that's new. Steam Gunner Zaid. When placed, discard a card from your hand. Draw a card. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards. Discard it and retire it. When they attack, see if you were to grieve for this turn. Soul Charge. Eh, it's okay. Oh, look. Cool. Chaos Breaker Dragon. The final cover art card. Um, This card's great. During your turn, if you have a lock card, it gets 10,000 power. Um, van or rear, so it basically gets a force marker. Uh, kind of plus one. Your opponent gets an imaginary gift force. Choose one of your opponent's rear guard to lock it. When your opponent's lock cards unlock, so plus one, retire one of those unlocked units, draw a card. Your opponent removes a total of two markers, removes their circles or protects from their hand, and you get an imaginary force for each marker or basic protect removed. Uh, Madame May reprint. Greed Shade. Oh yeah, this is the card that's really, really funny. I forgot what the reason was, but Gio and I were looking into um, Grand Blue cards that like let you add things from the drop, and I forgot why Greed Shade was good, but yeah, Greed Shade, good reprint. Real Banshee, when placed from drop zone, so this one draw a card, and this gets 4k. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, Cosmo Only 3 print, and yeah. You know, you'd really think this would make building these new standard decks way easier because all these cards are just in surplus and triple R's, you know, off rip. Bordemer, re uh, not reprint, uh, new Duke support. This is new, I think. When placed, top seven for a Shiryuki. Uh, when your Vanguard Shiryuki is placed, you soul charge one. That's really good. Oh, Fiona, cool. So now I got the whole Legion going. Camus one entire two rear guards, search deck for Femme, call it to front row. If you searched shuffle, uh, the circle becomes van. Well, there you go. Stand corrected on the, on the whole, like, oh, fem is bad because it's van only. During your turn, all of your vanguards get 5k for your opponent's grade zeros. Not bad. Uh, this is a reprint, I'm pretty sure. Um, during your turn, new cards put into opponent's damage zone. This gets 1,000. When it attacks, choose one of your opponent's rear guards. You will put in damage zone. If you do, your opponent... Heals a card from Darren's zone, and then battle retire this unit. So it's basically a retire. Rab Mega Rex reprint. Probably needed that. And what are you? Retire this unit, choose one of your opponents, where you guys retire it. Soul Charge too. Eh, it's an easy Soul Charge. Oh, cool. MacLear reprint. Nice. That's, yeah. Helpful. Alright, next pack. You got Spark Arrow Dragon, Vermilion Support, I remember. If you have Vanguard Kaiser, uh, Soul S1, try this unit. Search your deck for up to one card with Kaiser in the same, write it. 
Do, do, do. Uh, oh, okay, well this makes filling up the soul with Kaisers way easier. When your opponent's rear guard be retired, bind it instead of retiring. Oh, so if it's the front row unit, um, uh, it gets retired from being swung up by everyone and they get bound instead. That's pretty cool. Oh, cool. Right at the back, more Kaiser support. One place, look at top five, real up to one Kaiser Vermilion or Spark Arrow Dragon, so this thing. Um, put them into your hand, shuffle your deck, and if a card was put, discard a card from your hand. When varying attack hits, this unit gets 5k. Oh, cool. So hits, implying it hits all the front rows. So if your opponent has the basic three in the front, this can get plus 15k. Not bad for an 8k grade one. I didn't realize this was a grade two. That's cool. Uh, oh, cool. Duke. So we got the whole ride chain. Nice. Oh, cool. Nemen reprint. That's been needed. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the second reprint, but of course, we could always use more. And Sweeper Kantaro. Really good grade two. Just because it stacks. It doesn't lose power on Demon during your opponent's turn. And that triple air fling is nice. Um, Killer Tail. I'm pretty sure this is a reprint. Uh, something, something, Soul Charge. MacLear, <laughs> Halo Shield, Mark. I, I meant to say Mark, but I said Mac. Um, I like the I like how they actually have it with like the triple R, even even with the foiling like that. So that's cool. Okie dokie. Next pack. Savage Shooter. I think this is new. When play Soul Blast one, draw a card. And call a card from your hand to rear. Put the top card of your deck as a gauge. Rest this unit. Put a card from your drop zone face down as gauge. Oh, that's pretty good. New Nectar, bad. New Nectar, bad. Karen reprint. Uh, what does this do? When plays from hand, your opponent has a face down card in his or her. And his or her van or bind zone. So this was for delete. Count of Lost 1, choose two of your opponent's regards, bind them face down, and if you could not bind two cards, counter charge, soul charge. I can see that being helpful for basic Chaos Breaker support, because, you know, soul charge and counter charge resources are helpful for that deck. Fruit Basket itself, and Jesus, how many... These are all new Nectar cards in this pack. That's awful. <laughs> I guess I should just read what these do. Call plant token. Uh, okay, we already have those. At the end of your turn, retire two plant tokens. Return this to your hand. I guess that's good. Uh, one place, call to one plant token. If this is on van, call up to two. So it's a, uh, effectively, I guess, a better trailing rose. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, when it attacks, counter blast one. Retire four rear guards, call four plant tokens. So, oh, okay. And if your opponent's fan goes great through regretter, your tokens get 10k. So it's like a budget Katrina, but not as good as Asha. So, yeah. Boop. All right. Next up. Oh, cool. Starvader support coming back. Uh, when attacks or boost hits Vanguard, top five for a Starvader as a hand. You know, if your opponent's Vanguard is greater or greater, put this to your soul. Choose when your opponent's locked card, unlock it, and choose when your uh, opponent's rear guards other than the unlocked card, lock it. So you switch locks, proc off, um, care breaker skill during your main phase, blah, blah, blah. I feel like this is new. Again, I don't know DIs. When it's placed, discard a card from your hand, search for three grade two or less normal units in the same card name, put two among them into your soul, call or rear. Not bad. Hey, Shiryuki. Deck or drop zone, this card is regarded as fantasy, pedal storm, Shiryuki. When placed, guard circle, soul blast two, choose one of your opponent's front row units and it gets minus 30k. Van or rear, when, the when your other unit's attack does not hit, be a vanguard Shiryuki. Camelot's one, choose one of your opponent's front row units, and it gets minus 10. And then in a turn, if this is on V, you may call cards of shoot against name from your drop to an open rear. So continuous board control as in terms of like power and being able to continuously hit your opponent repetitively. Uses a lot of resources, so hopefully you can manage all that soul, but shoot is really good. Mm, don't know what if this is new or not. 
What does this do? Put in your soul, swap a unit from your hand, damage zone. Oh, okay, pretty basic. That looks hideous. Uh, when played, search your deck for up to one card with the same name as one of your units, called to rear. Okay, cool. So that's stammering room Kumo stuff. Oh, cool, this card. I love the art on this Gear Chronicle unit. Uh, when it's discarded from your hand during your turn, uh, call Soul Blossom on calls to rear, and it gets 5k. Then put a normal unit from your drop zone and bottom of your deck and draw a card. So I feel like there's like semblance of Urwatar in this. That's why I like this card. Also, the art is just great. Uh, Murakumo PG, and yeah, that was the pack. We're pretty close to finishing up this box. Let's see. Uh, more angel stuff. Does it have Michaelothoglu in its name? Yes, it does. So it's probably new. Um, look at seven cards from the top of your deck. From Michaelothoglu among them. Put it in your hand. Uh, and then what? Reveal up to one normal unit from your hand. Put it on the top of your deck. Mm, okay. Oh, cool. Starvaders. Uh, one place if you have Vanguard Starvader. Count us one. Your opponent looks at the top card of his or her deck, puts it in open rear as locked. If it's in the front, or sorry, if it's in the back row, you draw a card and this gets 10k. And if your opponent's a grade 3 grader and you have a locked card, your Vanguard crit becomes 2. So really good. Giano Blazer, or G Gigano Blazer. During your turn, if you have three more new equip gauges, all your farmer gets 5k. Once per turn, act, count plus 1, so plus 1. Draw two cards and call two cards from your hand, put up to one cage into each of them from the top of your deck. Pretty good. Savage Trooper gets 5k for each equip gauge, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, this thing is the thing that gives your Vanguard an additional drive, right? Count Blast, choose a card from your hand. Oh, discard a card from your hand, so that procs off the other grade one. Hand, when it be discarded, you may discard it as a three. So, yeah, this is staple. Chrono 2 TR, also another staple. Uh, at the beginning of your red phase, draw a card. When it is discarded from your hand during your turn, count us one, draw a card, and call us to rear as rest. Uh, PG, and yeah, that was the pack. So we're down to two, pretty sure. I didn't leave any out. Yeah. Small box. Um, Lost Gear Dog 8. Damn, what happened to one through seven? Uh, when placed, Vanner Rear. Reveal a grade 3 or from your hand, search your deck for up to 1 grade 3, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you put a card... Oh, it's like Steam Breath Dragon. Gotcha. And if it would be discarded, be discarded 3. This is literally Stride Fodder. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's, yeah, it's just Stride Fodder. Alright, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Jesse the Ghosty, uh, drop zone, choose two regards not named Jesse the Ghosty, and, or retire two regards, this ability will be used once, when it attacks, this hits 5k in the battle, and the battle, retire this unit, if you, and if you do not counter charge from the ability of Jesse the Ghosty this turn, counter charge, okay, cool. Gastille, another grade 3 with no gift. At the beginning of the battle phase, count plus 1, draw a card. And your opponent chooses one of the following effects for every five cards in your soul for the chosen effects in any order. Uh, all your farm roll gets a crit. Your opponent's value powers increase or decrease to one. All of your opponent's auto abilities do not activate until the end of the turn. Um, your opponent chooses a card from his or her hand and puts it into his or her damage zone face down. For every five cards. So you can choose priority... Yeah, obviously you would just pick the latter, the that bottom one first. I don't know, that makes the most sense to me. Your opponent chooses one of the following. Oh. Gotcha, so of course they're going to go and pick that one last. Okay. And it's kind of already in the order that they're going to want to go in anyways. Uh, Kaiden reprint, Vermilion reprint with that nice triple R foiling. I like that a lot. Way more than double R. Uh, kind of less two. This gets 10, 5k in a crit. 
And if there are two or more Ringos in your opponent's front row, instead of a crit, uh, it just battles the whole front row. Mantis reprint, Nightmare Land reprint, and I think that was it. Yep. All right, last pack. I hope we pull a VR. <laughs> this is new, I think. Uh, when tax comes, when retire another regard, draw a card, call up to one card. From the equip gauge of the attired unit to rear, put the card deck face down of the called unit. So, multi-attacking. Damien the Ghosty, he's so cute. Um, one place for hand, search your deck for up to two, for up to one card with Ghosty in its name, put it in your drop zone. At the end of the battle, it attacked. It attacked, that's interesting. If you have Vanguard Ghosty in its name, retire this unit, and if you not countercharge from this ability, countercharge. Time Leaper Dragon. I wonder what it does. Not time leap, obviously. Van, when it attacks a vanguard, put a regard from the bottom of your deck. So your deck for to grade plus one equal, call to rear, shuffle your deck, and then it gets 10k. So it's Metallica Phoenix. Yay. Bolt Spike Dragon. If your opponent's front row has two or more units, this unit cannot attack. Makes sense. But it is it is a grade two with 10k shield, mind you. So I think there's some level of warranty to running this if you can consecutively pull off Vermilion skill. So this might be worth running just because it's a grade two with 10k shield and 12k beat stick. I don't know. I, it just looks kind of cool to me. Mega Colony. Uh, choose one of the regards 10k. Um, but then you need your soul and you can counter charge. Yep. Millipede reprint. Uh, if this is rested, all your prints regards in the same column cannot stand. Uh, when this attacks or the battle attacks, it putting your soul counter charge. Yeah. Uh, not. I forgot the name of the PG from. Gear Chronicle, the first one. Why am I forgetting it? I remember Uluru, but I don't remember the PG, but yeah, so Gear Chronicle PG reprint. And that's it. That was that was the haul. We uh I would say we got some good picks, but everything in this set is just really good. Like we got Chaos Breaker. We got the grade one, the grade two, and the grade three. Yeah, so Pretty consistent with support. We got some really, really good like key cards for standard, which is kind of sad that we got this towards the end of standard, but and also we got this during the middle of a global pandemic, which really sucks because I would love to just go to locals and just like see the vast amount of like diversity in playing against these decks because this is just so cool, you know. Except for Neo Nectar. Neo Nectar sucks. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Um, I hope to be doing another unboxing for the second set. Um, you will be seeing some deck profiles for Spectral Duke coming out. Because I do have Spectral Duke ready to go for you guys. And I will hopefully be doing Jewel Knights uh, when the next set comes out as well. So stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it. Stay safe and you all have a great day.